Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 back with another video and I just got something in the mail. Um, so I have to precariously cover my address and contact information but uh, you can see here I received a DIY kit as well as two modules and this is from um, IC Station and I've done a video on them before. Um, they had graciously um, donated a transistor tester to me last time and they contacted me again um, over the Christmas break asking if I'd be interested in doing uh, maybe something like another video due to like you know New Year's or Christmas shipment that they just received they they restock like a lot of new products it was like 60 odd pages of products and they said um, you know, would you be interested in picking something out? And I said, of course. <laughs> so this will be a sort of review slash, uh, you know, kit building video. Uh, this will be a series because I have a feeling this is going to take a while. Uh, the Raspberry Pi, by the way, the zero here, uh, that's something different. That's for a different project. Uh, I did not receive that from them. So anyway, uh, let's just open this guy up with a not so sharp blade, which might be a problem. Ah, it's all good. Okay, let's just make sure there's nothing else. Okay, throw it to the side, and here we go. So I'll show you guys the uh, the page in a sec after we're done going through um, everything that's included here. So uh, what I ended up getting was a... <laughs> I cannot read anything but English, unfortunately is a LED matrix uh, that has a processor on it that does FFT, Fast Fourier Transform. So this is like an audio VU spectrum meter. So once I assemble this kit, I believe there's a mic and maybe a headphone jack input. You just plug into an audio source and the lights uh, will dance to the music basically. And it's a 12 by 11 grid of surface mount LEDs and I believe I, I got it in blue. Uh, they also sent me uh, two other things that I can't quite remember. I think one of them was a wireless module. Uh, looks like it's a Bluetooth 4.0 module. And uh, what was the other thing? I don't know. I'm going to have to look at it. <laughs> yeah, it's been you know a little while since, uh, since I last spoken with uh, my contact at the company, so I can't quite exactly remember uh, what they had offered in addition to the, the kit that I... Uh, had asked them for. So let's just open this carefully. One of these videos I'm going to draw blood. <laughs> and it really would help if I sharpened my blade beforehand. Anyway, so wow. Oh yeah, I remember now. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. So I got a, a tiny little Bluetooth 4.0 module. And oh yes, awesome. They actually have the uh, pinouts on here. So I'm going to go onto their website in a second and look up uh, what the functionality of this is. This is really cool, though. Hopefully, if it's like all the other uh, Bluetooth um, modules that I've used, they're basically just serial ports. So you, you, from my phone, I could actually download a Bluetooth application that can send data serially. Uh, and then this will just spit it out the other end. So I can actually stick this in a project. Um, I was thinking one of my POV display projects, I could stick Bluetooth in it so I can like reprogram it wirelessly while it's spinning. That would be awesome. So this will definitely come in handy. And look how small it is. Wow. But anyway, there's that. And then uh, from what I remember, this is a musical device, isn't it? I believe it. Uh, it's one of those... Um, you know, they're in like uh, postcards and whatnot where if you open them up, they play a song. Um, they have spaces for little watch batteries, so I, I can pretty easily, I should be able to just solder two wires for plus and minus. These are probably in series or parallel, it doesn't really matter. And uh, I can hook up a speaker to this guy and see what, what kind of music is uh, on here because I honestly cannot remember. But that's pretty neat either way. And, um, there's a couple other unpopulated parts. Yeah, speaker goes right here, batteries here. So yeah, this will be pretty fun actually. I could uh, probably stick it in something and uh, stick an amplifier on here and have it blast some music and annoy people randomly. It'll be a fun prank for my friends. And finally, the main thing that I was looking forward to is this kit here. So 
lots and lots of surface man LEDs. Oh my goodness, this is not going to be fun. Well, it'll be fun for me to solder, but <laughs> a little bit tedious. These are actually quite a bit larger than I expect. I was thinking 0603, which is what I usually solder. And those are like ridiculously tiny, kind of annoying, easy to lose. These are, I think, 8, uh, 0805 or something like that, 0804 maybe. So these should be quite a bit easier to solder, which will make this go a lot faster. And so what I'm planning on doing is uh, in part two of, of you know this series, I will sit down and do a time-lapse video of me assembling everything. So yeah, you can see here there's a surface mount chip. This will probably be the main processor. Yeah, there's nothing else on here. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, main processor, some uh, resistors for protection, uh, for current limiting, probably for the, the LEDs, which will undoubtedly be addressed as a matrix. You can kind of see the repetition of vias, and they're going down. So yeah, this is matrix addressed. Then there's some jacks for uh, DC input, and then uh, J1 and J2 are probably like uh, audio in and audio out, something like that. And these will be yeah, their surface mount, a 3.5 millimeter jacks and it looks like they're four pole interestingly enough so on top of that we have uh let's see what else some kind of test um pad area here i i guess that's how they they test make sure the pcb is wired correctly or whatever there's no faults uh some decoupling capacitors plenty of decoupling capacitors and yeah there's really not much here and a power switch <laughs> Yeah, no crystal. Everything, I guess, is just done in inside the one the one chip. And I guess it's uh, maybe there's a PLL and an RC internal RC oscillator uh, that's tuned. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, PCB is actually pretty thick and pretty hefty. This is a nice feeling. I can 3D print a stand that'll like hold this upright, and yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Uh, stick a battery on there, and you just plug in audio or whatever, and we're good to go. So yeah. Um, have uh, random parts here, some resistors, the jacks, some capacitors, and... Oh, okay, yeah. So it uses a tack switch for the button, actually. That's interesting. So we have the DC jack, uh, which is just a standard, it looks like maybe 2.1 millimeter uh, barrel plug. And we have the power switch, which is a tiny little surface mount job. Interesting, that's going to be fun to solder. I, I actually mean fun, I, I'm not being sarcastic. Uh, I like soldering surface mount stuff. And this chip here, which has no part number on it. <laughs> not too surprising. A lot of companies are doing that nowadays um, to try to protect their products because it's so easy. Once you have the board, you can easily copy the... Uh, the the traces and whatnot so you can easily replicate these so the way that they can protect their products then is to uh, make it so that the the person would have to you know put a lot more work into reverse engineering the chip so i understand that's why they do that um i'm not going to be <laughs> replicating this or anything like that i just want to uh, use this to have some blinky lights while I play music, which will be fun. So yeah, it'll just go on there, solders, pin pitch is pretty large, it's a wide soic. So this will be pretty easy to solder actually, and I can do a tutorial video on how to solder surface mount parts as I go through, and then I'll speed through soldering all the surface mount parts uh, because this is gonna take quite a while. So yeah, I'm just gonna assembly line it and we'll be good to go. So here's the, uh, the web page for the kit that I ordered, which is the DIY kit uh, 12 by 11 LED array audio indicator blue FFT voice frequency um, board. And it comes in several colors. I believe it comes in red and green and white as well. Uh, so yeah, um, this is only like 13 bucks on sale uh, from 15. So yeah, definitely um, pretty cheap in terms of um, you know the functionality that you're getting. So yeah, we'll just go through quickly. Um, the board runs off five volts, which makes it convenient to interface with pretty much anything USB if you wanted to, though it comes with a DC barrel jack, so you'd have to solder on like a USB cable or something. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, no filter circuit necessary. The input directly is into the chip. That chip pretty much does all the magic. I, I assume it's a microprocessor, and they loaded some software onto it that does a software-based FFT. Uh, which is a fast Fourier transform. Uh, let's see. Yep, 
and they're calling the chip FFT2012-11. Uh, it's likely some sort of commercially available microprocessor. Um, yeah, so they're uh, driving a 12 by 11 matrix of LEDs. Um, it has audio input. Uh, there's three modes, uh, display modes, fast, fast flash, slow flash 1, and slow flash 2. Uh, providing the feeling of cool. I like cool, so... <laughs> Uh, there's three sensitivity modes, high, medium, low, and yeah, automatic gain control, uh, da, 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 da. circuit design is simple, that is true. <laughs> um, I'll link down below, I did find a, end up finding a, a full schematic of this, uh, so I'll link that down below the, um, the image of that in case you guys, you know, want to tinker with it or whatnot. So yeah, uh, interesting thing to know is you can do mono or binaural, which I'm assuming means it, um, kind of splits the display into left and right uh, measurements and mono obviously is just a single channel so yeah uh, you can modify the display refresh rate too which is pretty cool so here they have um, just a short description of how to how to you know use the button you press and hold in order to uh, enter the menu and you do a short press to execute whatever it's on pretty much uh, so yeah um, they go through all the different modes, so there's, uh, you know, A through G different modes that you can set up. And so, yeah, um, pretty much what they described above, but, you know, in terms of if you're going through this, you're going to need to save this chart or memorize it or something. Or I assume once you set it up, it'll remember it, so that shouldn't be that much of an issue, but that's convenient that they provide this for us. And, yeah, component listing, a bomb of all the parts necessary, and there's only a handful of parts uh, including the 132 LEDs, which will be awesome to solder. Luckily, it's uh, 0805 size, so that's pretty large. So yeah, I don't see a problem in uh, assembling this, so we can go on ahead, and in the next segment, um, yeah, we can uh, just go through and solder all these LEDs, so bear with me. So yeah, uh, that was today's, uh, I guess, mailbag video or whatever everyone else is calling it. So yeah, um, so I'd like to thank uh, IC Station for giving me uh, uh, free stuff, basically. Um, I definitely love uh, making kits. I don't often buy kits because I usually don't have the time to assemble them. But I think that this will be, you know, a good, well-deserved break for me. I, I can take a little bit of time and assemble this over the course of the next few weeks, and I'll post a couple videos on, on the process uh, as we go along. So... Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the, the following video, hopefully soon, uh, where I get to assemble some of this. So thank you.